What is going on guys? It's Wes here with another Anvil video and today we're gonna talk about one of the best addition in the game that is the breaker point and the breaker system. So what I mean by that, you know they say now you can upgrade your stuff before you even start a game. So it's time that you take advantage of that and then that way you start with a bang. So let's go and check out this one real quick like for instance let's say liner and you want to start with the bank so you gotta go to the skills and then when you go to the skill you can see that you can unlock some of the skills and then you can equip it and you can start the game with a bang so now for instance for this guy i just go with the cooldown for acceleration that way i can use that whenever i want to but you know for him there's one of the things that i like about this character is the electro trap then now you can have two on the ground and then that makes it very good so now the way you do this since you unlock this with the breaker point and you just go in here and equip it or you can release it so if you have more than one unlocked then you can equip whichever one that you want and then you just change them whenever you want so i like this one the electro trap so i'm gonna leave this one on but you can only equip one at a time just go press the corresponding button for this said character and you can do it like for instance if i want to do this one i just press the x and then i go back here and then that's where you change it and then i go and start the game and that's what i got now let's give you a good example of one character that you know that i don't have anything for yeah let's go to shuri for instance so i only have one breaker point so i'm gonna use her and i'm gonna use one of the better ones that i want so i'm going to skills and then I'm going to go to the Sandstorm. Now the Sandstorm, you know, there's one that can give you two. And I like that. So I'm going to unlock this since I have only one breaker point. So I'm going to do this. And then now whenever I want to play this character, I equip it. And then now whenever I go to a game or a mission or whatever, I'm going to have two Sandstorms available for me whenever I use it. Now for some other character, you know, you can just go for cooldown. Now that's just my opinion. Sometimes you can go for cooldown, for instance. Let's say we want Mountain, for instance. He's got some of the long cooldown in the game. Let's go and check him out. And so I go to this guy and then I'm going to go to the skills again. And I'm going to check to see one of the ones that gives me the most benefit. And that is a Meteor Smash. So I go for a minus 30% cooldown. Now the benefit of this is that you know you don't have to rely on RNG. Because you know when you're playing the game and you go to those uh, machine. And then they give you one and then you have to choose from. Now you don't have to worry about the best one that you choose. And then you can just go in your merry way and choose the one that you like now another thing i want to mention real quick is the starting weapons let's say for instance i'm playing this guy liner and he's got one of the best new weapon in the game so i'm gonna go and show you real quick let's say i want a starting weapon i'm gonna start with the venom rifle this is very good especially if you are using the relic infinite magazine this is very good this does very good job in the missions that you want to accomplish now one of the reasons that i say choose this weapon whenever you're starting one of those rifle type uh, breakers is because not only that is poison's enemy it also shoot three rounds at once and it is very fast so it is very good now the bad thing about this system that i don't like is the fact that even though you unlock this for one breaker like a rifle type breaker now when you go to another type breaker the rifle type breaker then you also have to unlock it again for some breaker points let's look at here we see now i unlock it for liner but i still have to unlock it for this guy now i hope they change this in the future but you know it is what it is right now now if you want to take advantage of this system so you have to grind the season pass and if you have the premium pass you know of course you're gonna have more but you don't need to pay for anything i always say don't pay for anything if you don't want to but you get a benefit when you have the premium pass because you get more of those more available then you can also play this seasonal challenge and then you can get some of the breaker points and you can use your breaker points to upgrade your weapons anyway guys that's all we wanted to talk about so hopefully you find this helpful thank you guys for watching i will see you guys later